Welcome to Crusader Kings 3 with me, the Emperor. And we are back with some more teaching the game. Honestly, learning the game ourselves as well to a degree. There's always something new to figure out. So, yeah. I think that is what we are going to do some more today. Because it is actually just time to do exactly that. Now, I'm really quite looking forward to all this. Because, well, today we might see our very first Empress. Which is definitely something interesting, I'd say. Usually on my playthroughs, I always try and get equality eventually. But achieving equality isn't all that easy, I must say. Achieving equality is actually quite hard. <laughs> it takes a few hundred years to get there and to get it going. So, let us jump right in. We are at the end of our lifespan, I'm pretty sure. We are 70, uh, Empri uh, 70. Emperor Budimir is unlikely to make it all that much further. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure that this is somewhat the end of the line. And, well, what can you do comes for everyone eventually. Perhaps I've been underestimating her. Princess Jaromira. How have, how have I been underestimating her? Well... Always better to underestimate someone than to overestimate them, I would say. Quite sure if that's actually true, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So we're earning some decent money, but remember, remember, the larger your empire, the more wars are going to cost you. So it's not actually all that cheap to be quite honest uh, we have a new granddaughter a little Svatoslava very cute very lovely let's get her on the power tripping and we'll give her a matrilineal match because we want our family our bloodline to continue uh, I don't care not just now see at this point in time, it becomes a bit of an issue because people that you know just keep dying. They start dying and they keep dying. I have to pin this one to befriend her as well. We can't take... Well... I was about to say we can't take our friends into the afterlife, but no, <laughs> can't we? Uh, let's see. Here is our Prince Sarin of Carpathia, who is our dear beloved son. And they are betrothed to this lovely Princess Shelene of West Francia. Relevant for our little alliance over on this end of the world. He is nowhere near the first in line. Honestly, what are you even? Uh, who knows what, what... I think he's the youngest. Oh yeah, he's the baby. He is the baby. The youngest by far. Everyone else already married. King Saxo's queen. She rules in Italy with her husband. And his primary heir is of our dynasty. Of our bloodline. And our beloved daughter, Shinze, is waiting to take her rightful spot on the throne. 
Thank you, I, Katarine, for the visit. Uh, her son is slowly coming of age. She doesn't look to be any good at anything. His education is clearly failing him. Ah, oh, well. It's not much we can do about that, I'd say. But we'll live with it. One of our kings has gotten some uh, knight qualities there. King and knight, very good. Our son wants to leave the court. Why do you want to leave the court? I mean, it doesn't really matter. We could designate an heir. Let's uh, let's check that. We have level four succession. And we're going to lose the Duchy of Thuringia. Which I wasn't even quite aware that I held it. Uh, but I don't mind losing that. So she is uh, the preferred heir by quite a bit. So... Uh, he is the preferred heir by two by the Glorians and the courtly vassals. As kind of suboptimal. But we could appoint an heir. Ah, there we go. Dying. Death is coming soon now. Anything sensible to do in our last days, I ask? I do not know. I do not know. Yes, the Duke. Let's have and see the Duke. Bring him in, show him in. Thank you. Okay. Should we have one last romp? With the encape. Oh god, that no. That's that's no. No. Stop it. I am not going to have an affair on my deathbed with an incapable woman. <laughs> I'll also not visit her wedding anymore. It's just no longer in me, these long travels. I'm really quite impressed with the money we are earning here. It's uh, vassal taxes are really rolling in here. Ah. We have made yet another friend toward the end of our life. And I wanted to try and befriend her before we go. I'm really curious to see how life's going to be as... Uh... Oh, boy. Shinzai. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing this correctly. So this will just uh, be as it, as it is. Shinzai. We could still designate another heir. We could be like, no, it shall be Ludolf. Or we could even be like, no, it shall be Princess Jaromira. She is the one. Or we could be, hey, Prince Sarin. He is the correct man for the job. But I think we will not do that. Oh, yes, a board game. Let's go for the learning challenges just all the way through. And let's play again sometimes. Thank you for the good match. Very enjoyable. Are there any important decisions? We could found an holy order, but I do not want to do that. Be oh, actually. We could found one here. I assume. Uh, no, these are all my own baronies. I don't want to give those up. Now, go away. I will not have such things happen to me. I'm still kind of looking to build the Unite the Slavs thing up, but it, it, there's sponges and elements and bits and pieces and bobs and whatnot that aren't actually quite all right or okay. So, you know, uh, we can't just... We can't just take chunks out of the Byzantine Empire. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a tall order. 
And I won't start a war at the end of our lifetime. Okay, let's check the big houses just for curiosity's sake. This is really no mechanical thing, but I want to see which houses are true. This is a cutted branch. You can tell by this being split around a little bit. Uh, this is a cutted branch. This is a cutted branch. Ah, yes. <laughs> the Pope is true to his nature. Uh, speaking of which, my man. Oh, you don't have the money to give me. Ah, this is a pure-blooded house there. Cutted branch. If they split like that, it's it's not always a cutted branch, but I think for the most part they are. Um... And you can tell if it's a it's a if it's a grand house or not. These are legendary houses just as us. But I think we're one of the very few houses that's just not an offshoot of something. We are actually real and true and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's see. A chancellor. We need a new chancellor. And as it so happens, our strong vassal is actually pretty decent at it. So he shall get the job. We could work toward integrating some titles here. Um, not sure what the coloration does. So it is 45 years, 33 years, 53 years. So I've, I'm assuming the color kind of just denotes how quick it's going to be. Uh, integrating a title can be very helpful. Because uh, once we are no longer the ruler, because we are dead, um, people are going to see if they want to be free or anything. And you don't really want them to be free from you or give them reason to want to be free from you. And if you are not their de jure ruler, their rightful liege, they are much more likely to want to split away from you. So... That's definitely something to keep in mind. And this is the second character in my whole time of playing Crusader Kings 3 where I've completed uh, the full lifestyle tree. The first one was also in this campaign, getting this achievement. So, yay us. Oh, our friend died. The, the poor duke. Can we... Ah, we're still trying to befriend the queen here of Great Moravia. So Croatia is pretty strong. And there we go. Big speed down. Always speed down the game. No matter what you do, the first thing, if you die or if your ruler dies, is slow down the game. So we've ruled for, ruled for 40 years, which is pretty impressive. I always love reading the epitaph. So uh, we'll, we'll do that. Emperor Budimir of Carpathia has found peace in Christ's embrace at 71 years of age. He died of old age. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars in Russian history. <laughs> yes, he did. Empress Shinzai ascends to the throne, trusting and complacent. Shinzai's council may have more power than what is right. This is the first woman on the throne of Carpathia. Or any related high titles such as this one. And so we shall continue as her and pause again. We start out with a whole bunch of problems and things we need to take care of. First of all, let's check real quick if we got all the right uh, stuff equipped. And it looks like we do. This doesn't luckily change. I, I don't quite know why this always shows. Oh, you have all these different things now. Uh, because, well, we don't. But now that is gone. Same goes for our quarter artifacts. It just kind of highlights you. And it's like, hey, remember all this stuff? Yeah, that stuff is still stuff. Very good. Uh, the Bulgarian art of strategy. I like to keep it around because monthly martial lifestyle experience plus 20% is pretty big if we ever have another uh, martial inclined ruler. So we'll just repair this for a hefty sum before it breaks. Um, we are also in debt. Well, not in debt in, in that sense, but we're losing money, which is why... Dear viewers, anyone paid attention so far? I'll give you a moment. Something is missing here. And yes, you're quite right folding sheep. 
It is the church. The church is not paying us any taxes there. Uh, because this guy hates us. <laughs> well, he doesn't hate us. He doesn't like us yet. So let's check uh, our lifestyle first. We are very well versed in learning. So we'll take this, of course. Um, we might go for the de development growth one uh, for the scholarship focus. Development is pretty important, but we're taking over the throne fairly late in life. So I have a feeling it might be better to go with the medicine focus. So we can go ahead and live a long, healthy life as long as we can. So we'll take the medicine focus instead of the scholarship focus. We're getting a whole bunch here. So the Baba Yaga figurine and the ornamented dragon figurine give us an extra boost as well. So we should get on fairly quickly here. We are in the scholar tree so far. So let's check what we have. Our wards get additional skills and become your friends. Nice. Uh, cultural fascination progress plus 20%. That is incredibly strong. Trust me on this one. Increased development county efficiency. This is for research, basically. Development county efficiency, 20%. Also really, really strong. We're using this all the time. Different culture opinion, plus 15. Helps a lot. If we have a lot of cultures, which we do. Uh, different faith opinion plus 15. We don't have so many different faiths, so that's not super bad or important, but that's all good. All right, let's see. Let's uh, fill in our council. And we'll want the best man for the job who's also a strong person. So we'll definitely put him right back where he left off. Our steward uh, will likely be one of these two lads. And we, of course, are going to take the better man for the job. So King Buddha will... Sadly, have to take a back seat as King Jacob IV of Wallachia takes over. Now, notice that all these kind don't love us. Short reign, minus 18. That's a big one. Not rightful liege. Big one. Especially one that we can't really get away from. Male dominated, minus 10. Absolute crown authority, minus 40. One of the first factions we're going to be facing today will be lower crown authority faction. That is always as it goes. If you have such high crown authority to begin with. So, um, we want a marshal and we want ideally a marshal that is a powerful vassal that isn't incompetent. But it doesn't look like we have that luck. So our marshal will be someone who is good and who likes us. Of course, 28 is strong, crazy strong. Uh, so we might have to pick him. He ugh, he doesn't love us. And he's not going to love us if we pick him for that either. So we might go with our vassal here, the dear duke. Because he does kind of like us. And he'll like us even better if you put him in the job. And I think that was the guy who was doing it for our father anyway. So we'll keep him on training our commanders. Now, Spy Master, let's see. Oh, there are some kings here. Sadly, no strong vassals, but uh, that will be quite all right. Let's put one of our kings, uh, King Maliaka of Vladimir. He likes us a little bit better now. Let's check through all this stuff here. First of all, we start swaying this man. We could release his anger. Lovely. Our anger, not his anger. Let's start our sweet scheme to... Wait, 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 just a moment. Huh. Let me check our culture. Loyal subjects. Okay. Um, I didn't... I thought we picked a ritualized friendship here, which we didn't. So that's on me now. Let's see. Okay, even after restarting the game, this is still wrong. We have two hoardings, two trebuchet. But we're working on land grants. That's fine. So this is done in eight months. And after that, we might go for something else. Uh, we're, we're looking to get here. We have already unlocked everything. We just need to wait 30 more years until we can start working on the late medieval era uh, accomplishments and we will want to go for primogenitor 
that way we have a little bit more of a leeway in getting on with building stuff and whatnot in, in terms of titles that we have. So we're not going to lose them as much. Uh, we can negotiate alliances, big one. We're going to have to look at that in a second. Uh, what else were we going to do after that? We'll pick it up whence it comes. We can hold court, but let's check our alliances that we can uh, get. So inside our realm, King Saxo the Worthy with 18,000. The hell? Italy. We'll take that. We don't want Italy on the wrong side of us. Simple. Simple. Let's get uh, this alliance with Permia up there. The Duke of Permia, who is our uncle as far as I understand it. Prince Bruno the Heartbreaker, who's I think our brother-in-law. He doesn't want it. So we got to be a little bit careful with the alliances that we negotiate because that also lowers the willingness of others outside to enter alliances with us. Now, our children do not yet have anyone married to them. So I think we're going to go with another West Frankian uh, approach. And the princess Euphorizine looks quite appealing, I'd say for our dear beloved Ladomir, who is our main primary heir. Uh, we also could go for Princess Eleanor of England, but despite liking the name, I think we'll go with the West Frankian girl. We have had good relations with the West Frankians. Now, we can also negotiate an alliance with the Bavarians. For some reason, this didn't show up, but we're going to do that. The reason being, we were just uh, allied to them as it was. So, they are more inclined to join us. Uh, and, and I quite like that. Right. Okay. Slowly we go forward. Slowly. Slowly. Always go slow. After succession that that's that's always important okay with the passing of my father emperor budimir the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders i stand before my vassals adjust my new crown and nod energetically oh the things i will accomplish long live the empress yay right 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 okay so we're working on our friend over there, getting some alliances in. Uh, one day I will be like you, Budimir. So, yeah. Our prestige will go up. Our stress will also go... Oh god, we are already super stressed. Uh, let's check if we can't get an alliance negotiated with the Byzantines. We cannot. Um... We could, however, join their war, which we're not going to do because I am looking at definitely something. So let us go and seclude ourselves to deal a little with our stress here. Take some prestige out of us, but that's fine. Um, that's perfectly in order. Let's see. What else do we have? Ah, yeah, we also have a child still to deal with. Let's go... I would like to designate a different regent. Ideally, ideally, someone whose loyalty is selfless and who's excellently will it. Yeah. Um, maybe one of our kings, maybe our husband, and acclaimed knight. Does that mean regent succession? Uh. I don't quite know what that means. There is a there is a power balance thing going on, but this guy he's self interested right now. What does that mean? What what does what is this? What does that mean? Region succession. 
works. I mean, the scales of power is nowhere in his favor, so I don't know why that is important. Let's give him a, a mandate, and we'll want him to promote the authority of the crown, if he ever takes over as a as a guy like that. So uh, let us see. We want all. We want all. Sadly, we can't sort this by, for example, opinion. So the first we see is the Kingdom of Lithuania hating us. And I know it's not minus 100, but this is hatred. Uh, they are going to be very unhappy. What we could do is we could modify the uh, vassal contract and go like, Hey, you are a little bit overburdened, aren't you? Uh, let's, let's reduce your taxes, you know. He is an important payer in our ranks here, but how about we help you? So this lowers it a little bit. Probably still not enough to uh, get anything going. Uh, this guy kind of hates us, but he has a fairly decent contract as it stands. So nothing we're going to do here. Let's get only our Republic uh, vassal. This guy here. He has no individual obligations. I wanted to see if we can't get someone on scooter or something. Nothing there. So succession is clear, and the boy is only preferred by zealot characters at the moment. So let's find another strong outside alliance. Oh. Burgundy. Uh. And why, pray tell, are we not allied? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So let's slowly ease into this here. This will only get better once we got the church on our side. And having Bavaria on our side, as well as West Francia, helps us quite a bit. There we go. There's the first dangerous faction. Oh, of course there is. Right, so let's check what 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 are their problems. Absolute crown authority minus thirty, unrestrained wrath. That's my problem. Gout ridden. They're not here today. The last stream, someone asked that I couldn't go around or t told me I couldn't go around asking someone why they would be gout ridden. Well, there you go. I can. So something we're gonna do is a little bit cheesy here. This lady here is independent, but she belongs to the great uh, kingdom of Moravia. So we're going to grant her this annoying little vassal, which makes her happy, you know, makes her a little bit happy and kicks that woman straight out of that faction. Now, the problem is she joined instead. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. Where do you belong to? Let's see. We'll, we'll try and get these people out of our hair. So you belong to the kingdom of that, which isn't part of uh, my realm. So what we're going to do instead... So we're going to see. There must be a kingdom up here we can create. Isn't there? Yes, the kingdom of Novogrod. So we'll create this. Which costs us some gold and some prestige, but we will now go ahead, look at these people up here. This guy likes us well enough. He is vengeful, craven, but gregarious. He's not an ideal candidate, but we'll make him king of Novogrod. And this king, who likes us well, because we just made him king, will be given all these little vassals that are sitting around in factions here, up there in the north. So where are you? Okay, you're, you're my direct vassal. And, okay, you are just going to be a vassal of uh, our brother. You can have this guy. And now this is this is a stopgap measure. 
Why? Because these people, I am making them more powerful to get the faction smaller. But they might, just like the Queen of Moravia did, then in turn just join the faction. <laughs> okay, so Novogrod also gets this guy. They will then no longer be able to join these factions here. Because they are no longer my direct vassals, see? Ukvar. What do you belong to? The Kingdom of Hungary. Now, the Kingdom of Hungary is currently not in that, and they also cannot join. So we can go ahead and grant him this guy. Which kicks him out... Oh, wait a moment. Oh god, I gave it to the wrong dude. Whoopsie. Okay. Uh, that was a mistake. I gave it to the wrong lady. But she doesn't hate us anymore, so she skipped out of the factions. I want to give it to him. I messed that one up. Whoops. Okay, who else do we have? Yeah, the Duke of Thuringia. Our dear brother. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our brother to Polabia. <laughs> now the problem is Polabia is also a strong vassal who is likely going to want to be in places and stuff. And yeah, there we go. There he is with his own little faction. Okay. We're trying, all right? We're trying. So she's out of factions. Let's help this. Let's help this along. Okay, Poland, this is ours. This is we need. what we need to do with. He is... He is intimidated. He's, uh, they're intimidated, but they're just not quite there. Uh, to get out of these. So... They want independence. They don't have anything to work with anymore. They still do. You there. Okay, I can't release my anger on her. Question is... Question I have. Okay, I f none of these is intimidated by me at the moment. Let's go ahead and unleash our anger on this guy. Okay, no, that, that will be an act of tyranny for everyone. So that's not good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we, we kind of detoothed this one slightly. Uh, this guy wants the Empire of Carpathia, the whole title. It just overthrow us. Who is this? Imprison, act of tyranny, yeah, fine. Uh, could denounce him. Which costs us a bunch of renown. And he'll kind of hate us. But we get a reason to in, uh, imprison him. So that would take care of this faction. Let's do that. Unpause real quick so we get the options here. So now we can imprison him. And we have a 77% chance it works. If it doesn't, he'll raise up a rebellion against us. So we'll try. And we did lose our marshal here. He was in some of those regions that we gave away. So let's put in, I don't know, this this guy here is fair enough. Okay. Uh, he's raising in rebellion against us. Good stuff. From down here. So that's going to be a problem to start out with. Uh, let's bring one of our flags somewhere 
close by. We'll start with just our men at arms. Just to, you know, keep some money on the back end here. We'll speed it up a little bit, but we're going to be quickly overwhelmed with the fact that we don't have that many troops. Maybe we we are lucky and we can catch him. Like, catch him, defeat him, and take him prisoner. That would be ideal. That would end this immediately. Uh, we were not so lucky. We did imprison someone. And we defeated him. So, if we can finish this, this faction is gone. Because they can't install someone who is in prison. Basically. But this faction is still a problem. Of course. At least... Well, these two factions are still quite the problem. Honestly. Okay. What do we have? I swear to God I'll punch someone. Ah. Uh, this doesn't seem to have any negative consequences. Did we punch someone? Do we have a commander who's good at sieging? Yes. Always put the siege guy in the siege. If you can afford it. If we can get ahead of this, this would be something. We can't do anything with these guys. Can't do anything with these guys. So everyone else will just have to face and fight, which is likely going to break our neck. Oh, oh god, we forgot. This guy definitely needs to manage our armies here. And we're done with this one. So we can stand our troops down again. And... We can execute him, which would make us a Kinslayer. <sighs> which is bad. Quite bad. Uh, renounce claims. So we can release him like that. And then they can't in install him anymore. I think. Anyway. I shouldn't be able to install him anymore. He, has no, he doesn't have any claims. Stop this faction. Right this instant. Okay, we discovered a uh, fascination. Very good. Let's check the next one. Uh, maybe something that will help us in the upcoming war. <laughs> Advanced bow making. Crossbowmen. Nah. Uh, heraldry. I mean, high partition is already a little bit better than what we got, so let's go with heraldry. Though, what are we being influenced on? We are being influenced on heraldry. Very good. So six years until that. Question is, will we still be queen in six years? Oh. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that little transfer here. Uh, that kicks out our marshal again. But that's okay. I can deal with that. And we'll put in... I don't know. Who do we put in? This guy. Our patriarch still does not endorse us. And I'm quite sure. The Pope doesn't like us either. Why does the Pope dislike us so? Gautrin. Desires the Duchy of Romanga. 
Duchy of... I don't even have that. I, I think it's just somewhere here. It's just something that he f thinks should be his land and not the Italian lands. Let's see. Can't we do anything here to get an alliance? No, only claims, no alliances. Let's check through our family real quick. We can't find something. Nah, can't do anything there. Well, my dear girl, I'm quite sorry, but I need alliances. It's more important than your happiness right now. The family must survive. Ah, oh boy. There's not a lot we can do. We can only really bring in Venice. Which one has that child? I hate that they switched the position. Like, you, you click on it and suddenly someone is in a different position. Why? You there. Okay, you won't come to court. So that's another outside alliance. Uh, we could, of course, try. Unsuccessfully so. Oh, very good. Okay. That's great. Um, with these additional alliances, we have kind of diminished the power of the existing of the existing uh, places here. Of the existing factions, that, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, so these cannot join factions. This only has one member left. This is our major problem, the independence faction still. Which is Serbia, Croatia. And Ruthenia. So these are countries that aren't necessarily de jure vassals of ours. Uniting the Slavs would help this. But right now we're out of the worst. We're in the clear, kind of. Alright, intriguing. Our, our marshal increases by one. By reading from a book of our son. All right. Stressful, stressful start. But she might actually be the very first ruler of Carpathia that took over the throne and didn't immediately have to face a rebellion. But she's also kind of improvident. I mean, she isn't improvident, but we are not earning what we should. So maybe we have to stop with working on this and start working on that. And we also... Oh, okay, let's, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, some excess for us. We can't wait. Only the best for my court. We're not gonna go out on a limb here. Let's see the petitioners. Uh, I don't want your secrets. Nobody extorts me in front of my own court. No. Rumor monger, leave. Dancing sounds delightful. Next. The dancing plague for 10 years. Pray for deliverance at a shrine dedicated to a saint. Let's go that. The patriarch will like us a little better and uh, that's important to us at the moment. Starts endorsing the church holdings so we get the money or some of it. We're not going to get the full taxes yet. Um, my boy, map's overrated. Can't you see I'm going into debt? So, here we go. We will keep an eye on those factions. I still don't understand how this faction can still exist. This guy... Isn't... 
He doesn't even have a claim anymore. No idea. Okay. Male dominated absolute crown authority. We could reduce this a little bit. That helps as well. Like, the only thing we really get cannot wage war unless they have a hook on their liege. We can designate our heir. Doesn't matter too much to me. So lowering this wouldn't hurt us too much. It would hurt us financially and in, in terms of troop power, sure. But people will hate us a little less. Alright, so Prince Ladomir has become a thrifty clerk. Not too great, not too bad. Let's check our court positions. If there's something we can put little Ladomir on or in without costing us an arm and a leg. Why can't I find that menu? Come on now. Actions, intrigue, courtiers, decisions. <laughs> it's courtiers, isn't it? Okay, so court physician. We need one. Uh, we could pick our patriarch. Who's poorly aptitude to do it. We could put the prince, our brother. So at least he comes back to court. Let us. Uh, lady in waiting. That is a very expensive position. Are you absolutely joking? Uh, antiquarian. That's what I want. Always like to have one like that. Our mother. Also gout ridden. <laughs> a caravan master is a very cheap position. Let's put in our brother. Let's give out some more cheap positions. 075 is still a little bit too expensive to me. Okay, that's fine then. Let's... Uh-huh. Friend till the end. We'll stay with our dying friend here. Let's get the inside alliances. The Duchy of Sicily is at war with the Carpathian Empire. Rather, they lost the war against the Byzantine Empire. All right. Cause I think we made it over the first hump, but not quite yet. We still have to prove ourselves to these people. So we, we need to tread carefully. And ideally, let's see. Can we demand a hostage here? No. Now this sadly doesn't help as well as it should. Okay, he will not accept sending me that one. Will you send me this one? Will you send me that one? No. I don't know, why do you hate me? Absolute Crown Authority is a big one. It is a big one. Disappointed. Why are you disappointed? And why is everyone in this court gout ridden? Or is it just me? Um, Blaumir tells me that her educators in the clergy, as my patriarch, are to thank for her mastery in the courtly tongue. That's nice. Here, well done, little girl. Wait, did, did the church holdings go down again just now? 
Did his opinion not increase? Huh? Okay, weird. Okay, I think the next tradition is gonna be uh, ritualized friendship, so we can always have befriend depend no matter what exactly our um our mode is. Ah, uh, no, I don't care. Don't care about this guy either. What was I looking for just now? Mm. Okay, the Venetian Duke has just died. That's probably a problem for us. We gain the trait loyal and they get a strong hook on us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'll pass the loving care on to my children. Very good. We gain parenting by example for 15 years. Opinion of parents, child opinion, and some... Okay, can't we... Darn. Can't negotiate an alliance here. That's why I don't like allying with the Venetians and hoping that that actually works. <laughs> what do you want? What artifact? This is the worst dialogue in the world. Okay, we had a bad omen, so people are probably trying to kill us. Alright. Let them try, let them come. They'll see. They'll see what they get. Vladimir, or is that our son? I think so. Vladimir is our regent now. I do believe. So what does uh, high partition get us? Eligible children opinion. I mean, it's mainly... Your player air cannot be what? Your air player air cannot be what? Cannot be what game? Ah, oh, we become friends with the kingdom of Mordvinia. Lovely. It's rare to find such friends. And he still doesn't like us. You know? Where is he even? Well, he's not within the realm. But at least he won't be an outside threat. Okay, we, we are back to factions being a problem. This faction specifically being a problem. <sighs> what can we do? Um, we are, what, sexually speaking, we are a homosexual, and what's going on? It's been a good while since I saw my old heartthrob, Agnieszka. Even after all these years, the thought of her as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind, okay? Let us confess our love to her. See how she reacts. Perhaps she may be persuaded. No. Nope. She's not into it. We're not trying to pursue anyone beyond their own wishes. So of course what we could try to do is seduce these people. 
0% chance of that working. Can't even start it here. 0% chance. Yep, 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 yep. That's not gonna work. Like, these guys are strong. I can't believe that this thing is still a thing. Okay. Learning per level of devotion plus two. So we get four. We are not very devoted. Can't I seek treatment for my gout? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and break this betrothal. Because, yeah, okay. That guy's gonna hate us. Sure. But Burgundy isn't... Oh, wait. Huh? Okay, we'll break this betrothal. It's nonsensical. Italy is all, all very good. Internal alliance. Matrilineal match. And that stops this guy from his, uh, from his factionism. And kills the faction right there. See, sometimes it's not necessarily important to have a strong stance outside the realm. Sometimes it's better to have internal alliances. Or good to have that in addition to. But there was a girl that we... Ah, there we go. This guy died. So we have her again to get us an alliance power. Duchy of Rab, Duchy of East Franconia. I mean, these can be fairly, fairly chunky. So another 6,000 men that would come to our aid. There's nothing to scoff at. Nothing to scoff at at all. I think we'll take that. Will you take matrilineal? No, it doesn't matter. She's just a niece or something. I don't care. All right, so... The church is swayed and they're a little bit happier about us. So now they pay their full due again. I don't think it goes high here. I mean, he is not nearly at 100% of liking us. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Sway is plus 50. Get there. And we are pregnant again if I don't. Misread. Didn't misread, yes. It appears we are quite pregnant. Which is pretty fine to me. Let's see. Oh, empathy and kind heart. That that's his he's that, isn't he? Isn't he empathetic and kind-hearted? I hope so. Excellent, that worked. Okay, so are we are we practicing witchcraft? Or why do we know this? Do we have the witch secret? Oh. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, we just kind of learned that, but she also gained opinion of us. She's impressed. 
Do we have the found witch coven thing here? No. It's weird. That is weird. I will. Who knows what keeps going on in these people's minds. Okay, you have a little bit of an internal rebellion, but you're putting that down apparently. Very good. They are my friend after all, and we prefer that. We should maybe have a feast and try and befriend someone. Let's go do that. Who's in these? Uh, the King of Croatia. We'll try that. Let's have a feast. In Krakow. Our honorary guest will be... Uh, one of these people that are... Yeah, him. He will be our honorary guest. We will want to befriend our honorary guest. And uh, let's get going on that feast. We have a lovely time ahead of us. It's much nicer starting this than it was in Crusader Kings 2 because you would get like rejection letters, <laughs> literally. Uh, that was kind of crazy. I never quite enjoyed that, I must say. Never felt decent. To have rejection letters fly into our mailbox after sending out invites for people to, you know, hey, come join us. <laughs> Training knights has this big problem where sometimes you train someone who gets really, really good and then they raise in rebellion against you. It's a bit of a problem, I must admit. So what did we get with knighthood anyway? Or was it knighthood? No, land grants. Fabricate claim, 50% faster. Ooh. Okay. Yes, the Duke Bjorn. Please come in, thank you so much. When is our next... When is our next thing? Uh, Soon-ish. 5,283 years. Oh no, cradled by death. Why isn't she breathing? Our daughter was stillborn. Uh, big shame. Alliance expired with Hypatia. Alright. Does that matter? Maybe. Inactive accolades can be reinstated. Can they be? Oh yeah, actually, there's people here. It's nice. The Knight of Perils or the Dragon of Kernav. Let's get this guy in there. Can't reinstate another one. But we honestly, we don't really have all that many good knights. You will be forced to be one. You will be forced to be one. All of your fools will be forced to be my knights. How dare you? How absolutely dare you? Including my dear husband. My brother. My vassal. I think I kicked the one out that was fine. Ugh. Okay. 
We adjust, but we'll take the stress because I am not spending 450 gold for these people to drink. No, thank you. Our glory is widely known. It it sure is. Oh, our husband can be an, uh, an accolade knight. Very good. That's cool. Bolzes of the Bondsman. The oldest accolade we have in our realm here. Alright. And we'll just keep going a little bit. What a good evening. We grow closer to forming that friendship. Uh, oh, we got some additional taxes. Very good. No feast is complete without a prank. Um, okay. Raucous entertainment. And King Jakob gains 24 dread. It's kind of crazy. Uh, sadly, it was just a poor choice. Okay. 35% chance he becomes our friend. 64% chance he gets 30 opinion of us. Both of which are fine. Okay. Didn't work out. Thanks everyone for joining. And... Falling Sheep's asking, what are accolades exactly? I will get into that in a moment. Very good question, thanks. Imagine that they had such a secret. Crazy. And now a toast to King uh, Velimir. So now we improved our relation with this man and he did indeed drop out of this faction. Every courtly vassal, which we have eight of, gained 20 opinion of us. So this is pretty good. Uh, but we are shy or reclusive, so we're not losing stress here. But overall, this was a decent thing. So next one we're going to get on our side is King Thomas. Well, actually, he's soon dead. Let's get uh, King Svetsovar on our side with maybe a hunt. So let's go and get a hunt going. And where shall we go? Boar sighting? Stag sighting? Fox sighting? I think we'll go to the boar. And we'll want to befriend someone. Well, actually, this Valachian guy... He's been good to us. He's done well for us. And he kind of hates us, so... Let's try and mend this. Let's go. So I wanted to talk about accolades. Uh, the question was asked in chat. Accolades. Well, accolades are the most annoying bit <laughs> in the game, honestly. Uh, but... You have these accolades. An accolade is basically a special title, sort of, that you can give to a knight based on their skills and abilities. Uh, you can create them or you can use inactive ones like the sun in the hills is already one that exists. We can appoint one uh, to have this accolade active. If this would stop, I need to pause for a moment. Um... King Jacob is fine. Okay, so these have been created in the past by me. And each of these has certain abilities, basically. So, for example, the sun in the hills, you can name them yourselves when you create them. That's fine. But they have a pre-generated uh, one, which is this one. And they have uh, accolade attributes that are required. So unless a knight has either Reeve or Stalwart, 
they can't take this and, and can't take it over. Um, they bring with them certain improvements. For example, this one here. Uh, parochial vassal opinion is plus 15. So anyone who is like a king or uh, a, a duke or any sort of ruler in, in terms of being more a militaristic ruler um, will have plus 15. This is very strong. Um, including to that, uh, the army in which that particular knight serves gets a toughness plus 10%. Um, but the liege modifiers are really what you kind of want. So that's pretty cool. And you can do a whole lot with that. Now, these need successors. So if, if there's no successor there, then, uh, well, the title will become inactive. And if you bring in someone else uh, that is, you know, um, not succeeding in it because they didn't learn from the person who held it before, then this accolade loses a rank. And if it loses rank, then the bonuses you get are just a little bit worse. The problem with this, I think, uh, in, in my opinion anyway, is predominantly the fact that um, the interface really, really sucks. For example, you can't press B for back, which you can do almost everywhere else. So you have to click on here. It is escape, which isn't, which isn't, isn't the button. It's, it's, it's not the right button. It's just horrible. Uh, next, you have to have a potential successor be a knight. So we invited someone to court right now because he will be a potential successor for this, uh, the Knight of the Violet. He might join the court. He might already have done it, but we can't select him because he is just a courtier. So now we have to go back, back. We have to find the man Gauthier, Gauthier, go whatever, him. We have to force him to be a knight. We have to unpause so the game realizes what's going on. And then sometimes you still can't do that because there are the knights before him that are more important and that will take the spot of the knight. So we have to set him, for example, to allow. So now he can be a knight. So now we can go back and click on this. It is exhausting. And if one of these dies and there is a potential successor, it's not even put in there automatically. You just get a message. Um, you can appoint a successor to the bondsman, bulls of the bondsman. Great. And then you click and he can't even do that. And even if he was there and even if he could get in there, it just doesn't do it automatically. It's, it's, it's a manual type thing you have to do every single time. And it just drives me nuts. It's such an interesting system. I would, because I really liked being able, okay, I can, I can kind of reward my knights. I'm, I'm a little bit sad that it has these requirements. So you can't just give it to someone and have it a little bit like a council position. So if he's not good at it, he's just not going to give you as many bonuses as if he were good at it. But it's just, ay, 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 ay. The interface really lacks, is really lacking. I don't like it. I hope they do something with it at some point. So what's new here? Ah, a lucky rabbit's pool. Lovely. That's money right in the bank. We'll destroy that. Don't care about it. Anything else? I do tend to repair stuff early on while we still have money. But everything is in, in fairly good shape. Maybe the figurines. They could use a little polishing up. They look a little bit dull. Probably also a regalia. Uh, it's still cheap to do right now. So we'll do some of that. Okay. Ah, yes. So he's further swayed, but I think we have reached the maximum of what the church will and can pay us. But that's super important. You always want to be sure that the church pays you best. Okay. Let's get out there. Yes, let's let's get out there. Hunting the boar is dangerous. Now, another thing we could do, we have a second sway slot due to one of our artifacts. So we could go ahead and sway this guy parallel 
to deal with them. Usually, you can only do one swaying at a time, but since we have an artifact in our court, that will allow us to do two, and we should absolutely do that early on. Um, let's see. Grow closer to his friendship. Closer to his friendship. So we're kind of making a bet here what he is like. Uh... Let's see. Waiting the word from the center on the party rests in a shaded copse. Jakob stands not far off. This is my chance to impress him. King Jakob, how are you? It's not often we get the chance to talk. I open formally. She seems surprised. I think you have this confused. All right. They seem surprised, but not hostile to my conversation. So now we're looking at him. Who is he? There's nothing better than a good hunt. Right? This guy is a hunter. And not a bad one either. So, I would say we go with this. See if he agrees. King Jakob seems to have much in common with me. Relaxing his demeanor in my company. When we move on, we can hardly be separated. I knew I would find the right words to win him over. Uh, so we're closer to forming a friendship. Not yet quite there, as you can see. Okay, everyone back on your horses. Sarin over here. Stocked Medicus. Uh, we remove Prince Sarin from the activity. I don't care. I'd like the Stocked Medicus. Disease resistance, medium health, and plus one learning. Hello. That's good. I'll take that. Another gout-ridden man. After it, we ride. Success chance increases. Method is perilous. That's fine. Let's go. So who do you want on your side most? Definitely you are your courtiers. Your chancellors. Oh no, the hunt fails. Looks upset about it. Rightfully so. Let us leave this adventure behind us. We spend some time with Kang Jakob of your befriend intent. Uh, sadly, he doesn't become our friend, but uh, we had a hunt. We had some stress relief from it. That is fine. What faction was created against us? I think this is a peasant faction. This is the only shortcut I really remember from the F1, since F7 for the factions. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, he still wants liberty or death. But we're swaying him. So there is a chance of that turning out a little bit uh, different. Also, people start liking us a little bit more. Because our short reign uh, malice is going down. We'll never not be gout ridden, I fear. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. We'll see how long we even survive. Being Empress. Let's see. I'm always up for a challenge. We could learn some army leadership. I don't care though. Sorry, we're in a hurry. This is just an event for you to take it if you want. Who died? Our friend Slavio. Slavoy. Slavoy. A king of Hungary died. That is very bad. Because that means more faction stuff happening, most likely. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anyone who isn't a strong vassal here? Yes, some. Our spy master is the only one we could really replace. But there's no strong vassals there that would like that job more than him. Uh. Uh. Difficult, difficult, difficult. King Krasumil of Hungary. Let's have a stew. Nauseating meal for two years. Darn. Sometimes you get a good food out of that. 
Good health boost. And learn on the job 20% of counselors' primary skills added to your own. So that's going to be big. 6, 10, 17, 8, 29. 10, 13, 21, 12, 31. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's the ticket. Should we go on a pilgrimage? We haven't done that in a while. Worldly pilgrimage? Where's the difference? Ah, yeah. Multicultural modifier. Piety. I don't really necessarily want the piety. Then again. Papacy hasn't given us gold in a while. Might help us a little bit. Might help us. I think he's going to like us if we're a pilgrim. Let's go on a pilgrimage. A pious pilgrimage. To the Vaticano. Oh, 666 gold. Well. <laughs> if this isn't... Uh, the perfect... The absolute perfect thing to do. <laughs> Can we invite someone to this? Right, it's very costly, but we'll do it. I can't wait. Can I invite someone on this activity? No, I cannot. Oh. Also learning some prestige here. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's word. De die otem illa et hora nemo skit. Um, this man is not a priest. Cast him down. Now ah, we'll take our learning one. Gives us more of everything. Uh, I'm not interested. Or you could join us. No, not interested in some wise men. Now remember, we have one lifestyle trait that gives us bonuses based on our piety level. So, this is, this is pretty darn good. This is really good for us. Definitely want that. Theatrical pilgrimage. No, we want the dedicated pilgrim. Monthly piety plus 10%. It is my sacred duty, of course. So let us go. We have still not had to face a rebellion. Small fight with someone who wanted to... Who didn't want to be imprisoned, but... Rebellion. Foreign treat. You're coming home with me. Who am I to interfere with higher matters? I don't care. You can stay here. Enjoy your... Oh. Uh, uh, our court... Oh, well. We can have a different antiquarian. The fox is a messenger from God. Follow her. We follow the animal deeper. Yeah, we, we, we'll do that. Let's see. I will soon have a child. I must make friends of my enemies. We and Jaromir stop being rivals. I should put my family first. Renown plus 0 0.1. You, you know I love me some renown. Close family opinion plus 15. House opinion plus 10. For 20 years. Fruitful omen. Fertility plus 30. I will soon have a child. I think that's that's the omen here.
Because more children means more alliances. So we'll want that. Adventure inspiration. Shall we sponsor it? No. 245 gold. Are you kidding me? Go away. Come back when you've learned of some reason. I could apply some of this back home. Improve pastures for 15 years. Building construction cost and time. Minus 15%. Holding taxes plus 20%. Development growth plus 10%. Are you insane? 0% chance our advice is misinterpreted. Yes. I'll take that any day. Ah, very good. Another level of faith. You follow the knight. Join me and forget about all... Oh, what do you want? My lady. Okay, let's, let's give him a voice. Let's give him a nice voice. My lady. The knight says, bowing his head. It is most fortunate that you and I come to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvelous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you were to help me in the, in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. I mean, it would be nice for our gout. Come on, let's go. The knight leads us to a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. The light reflects on its surface with a blissful shiver and makes the water look so bright that it feels like a second sun. Careful! A beast! A guardian! The knight points at a fox standing between us and the fountain. Do not fear, I shall fight it. Um, we gain knight errand training for 15 years and Leiden Ulf will become the owner of healing water. Or we can get the healing water as well. But there's a chance of us being hurt. And... Well, we'll see. Uh, I'll distract it. You get the water. Or we go with don't fear. I shall fight it. Night iron training. Night effectiveness plus 20%. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Thanks. I mean, the the holy water is nice and all. But it wouldn't heal us. So what 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 do I want with that? Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow Via Francigena. Others take less well-known paths. In the end, we all converge here at St. Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. Standing here with the other pilgrims, I sense a feeling of sol solemn unity and fellowship shared amongst the gathered. All have overcome various trials and tribulations along their journey. I've walked the holy path. So we become a pilgrim. Which is very good. Monthly piety goes up. Travel speed and safety go up. And zealot vassal opinions will like us a little bit better. And now we have some time to spend here. Let's see. Follow me intrigued. My lady, you look like a refined gentlewoman. I know of simply the divine experience not far from Roma, which will surely be interest to any dedicated pilgrim. Oh yeah, you look trustworthy. Hidden divinity. Quite the distance outside of Roma, we come to a sudden halt. Our guide, Agnes, shows us a hidden passage and... We end up in a small cavern illuminated by the daylight falling through a hole in the roof. Through that very same hole, a truly remarkable well wellspring pours serenely. The flowing water glows with a divine splendor and faint misty rainbows color the air around it. I've never felt God's presence stronger than in this very spot. How extraordinary. Our learning is increased by one. That might not sound like a lot, but we are already at th 33. Only gets better from here. Uh, let's see what else happens to us. Time to pray. I should make an offering. We will lose the Bulgarian art of strategy. 
Uh, I do like me that. More pious. More pious. 20 trade experience in pilgrimage. I think we'll do that. Let's make an offering here. I don't think we'll reach level 1, but... We might as well try. I mean, it's 50 experience and we just gained 20 from giving away a book that we didn't really read anymore anyway. We read it once. It was kind of derivative. Let's see. Please intercede with God for me. How can we buy entrance to heaven? Uh... Doros love becomes our friend. He's 60. Having him off as our friend at this point doesn't really help us. Nah, we'll go with this one. Our pilgrimage doesn't become more pious at this point, but... Pilgrim trade experience, 20. <sighs> Let's go with that. How can we buy entrance to heaven? Roma, it has been an honor. We are done with our experience here. We gain determined pilgrim for 10 years. Extra piety. And we'll finish our pilgrimage on level 2. Let's continue on. Very good. Uh, we'll find another path. Sure. Let's potentially form a friendship for a little bit of prestige. I'm fine with that. You should join me. No. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. What is that contraption? Tell me something about that. Or we go with, I wouldn't mind my, we'll go with the sparring. Guaranteed extra martial and prestige, we'll take that. We gain the trade traveler, which, you know, we only have the base trade. Let me try. Okay. There was some attempts here of our region doing something sensible. And he failed. <laughs> what can you do? Help him, Emperor Oisatius of, Compar of Comparthia. He is the boldest of the bondsmen. Come on, do it. Help him your job so how does the Pope feel about us these days not so terrible take your armor off It might be less valuable after I win. I can beat this guy with a 99% certainty. Okay. And he will then join us in court. He's, he's learned, so he's probably a good physician or something. 
Nah. Our bondsman can do it again. He needs more glory in his accolade. Ooh, sanctioned loopholes. You can use the buy claim interaction. Ah. Doesn't matter too much to me. I, I mean... I mean... It's good to be home. Oh, sure is. Can I buy a claim on... On, like, the Kingdom of Bavaria. Truly heartfelt. Thank you so much. Okay, we can't buy a claim on a kingdom if we are already a king or emperor. Can I buy a claim on an empire? No. So what's that good for? On this level. Okay, I mean earlier levels I can see it's like kinda sorta, but not this level. It's a big shame. Look! Ransom from the lady we just took prisoner for being an adulteress. He can have that. I don't mind. This guy won't ever want to have an alliance with us, so we might as well just click it away. Da 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 renowned heart hide. Is, is 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 that displayed in our... I don't think that's displayed in our court, is it? Let's have a quick check. No. It isn't. So we're good with that. Quick check in the factions. This guy still wants to factionize against us. Let's see, activities. How about we go on another hunt, huh? Take that guy along. We know he's into it. A bear sighting? Come on now. Let's befriend our Valachian lad. <sighs> Cannot be hosted for 36 days. We'll just wait those out right here. Ah, yes, please. Thank you and serve me well. Da -da 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 -da. Sometimes you just gotta wait a moment. And... Are you kidding me? There we go. Let's start that hunt. Let's get that bear. A hermit would be a great addition to our entourage. No, it wouldn't be. Let's just let's let's just go. Ignore an hermit. Travel speed plus fifteen percent. How fortunate! Please tell me about my future. Come on, let's do it. How insightful! The fire shall talk, and the silver shall flow from the hoof of lowing cattle. Aha. Uh -huh. Fifty piety right there. Straight into my hand. Okay, we might become one-legged here. Or we lose 144 stress, which isn't important because we don't have any stress right now. So, no, manual labor is quite beneath us. So many internal wars, including in the Byzantine Empire, which I like to see. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this falling apart. All right, everyone is here. We're looking to befriend the king of Valachia. A strong people. But a strong-minded people as well. Question is, can she be the queen, the empress, that never f attacked anyone in a war? Can she be that? Big question. So he's swayed and everything. Let's see if the hunt helps us. Oh. 
Okay, there's a long time until the hunt even begins. <laughs> the Liberty Faction has been disbanded. I think that was his. Yes, that was his. Okay, Valachia no longer seeks liberty. King Velemi converted culture from Mogiero Slovian to Dalmatian. You all don't know what you're missing in our perfect culture. Which we can do in... Oh, just 30 years we can do that again. Peril Treacherous. Prestige Glorious. Let's get out there, Jakob. My man. My main man. There's nothing better than a good hunt. To tame and fly a raptor is to truly live. He becomes our friend and we complete our friend intent. Definitely going with that. All right. Standing alone after he has moved to chat with others, I feel foolish. Wait. He doesn't become our friend? Oh. I must keep up appearances. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. I don't know what just happened. That's because I didn't read. And you should always read your events if you're unsure about what's even going on. After it, we ride. Let's get that bear. Drive this rabble out of my hunting grounds. These are the ancient rites, I suppose. 225 gold aided peasants out here. I don't care about this county. We'll drive them out of my hunting grounds. That's what will happen. Jakub, the shot is yours. He becomes our friend. Very good. Stresses us a little bit because we are, you know, a hunter. We want to do that. That isn't even the king that we wanted to befriend. I, I think I did a misclick there. Or it's a different one. I will go that. Take a little bit of stress. Good shot. Why is this guy twice now? We did make a friend. And it was him. I think the, the game messed up a little bit here. We'll see. This lush pelt with an excellent conversation peeled. Uh, cursed bear hide. Meh. It's not terrible. Not great. King Velimir. My good vassal, the hide is yours. Nah, nah. King Jakob felt it. It belongs to him. He can have it. I don't mind. See? Already we got friends. Now, should we go on another pilgrimage? <laughs> I have a grand tour. Or a grand tournament. I think we might have a grand tournament at home. Krakow. All the upgrades on that one. So we can have a recital, starting with that. A... Melee. And finally, adjust. So we continue with that. 1006. Are you absolutely kidding me? Prince Ladomir, our player heir and son, will be our champion. Uh, our goal will be not to triumph, but to befriend someone. Always want to befriend someone. Okay, no one here that is interesting to befriend. 
recruit. We find some new knights. Or triumph. Oh, we might as well try and triumph. So this does nearly nothing. A thousand gold. We already have a whole bunch of stuff that helps uh, lower this. Well, it should anyway. Huh. Well, does it only do that for one of these? Nope. Nah, that's, that's too expensive for me. Uh, he's too expensive for me. Let's get back home. Uh, mendicant mystics. You really want me to have this? Oh, well, it only reduces the cost of it. No, no, no. We'll take the mystic wisdom. We'll take that. Are there any languages we can learn around here? Let's learn some languages. I'm not even sure I've done that yet. Like, ever. <laughs> so... Let's see, we did the hunt. We did the feast. Oh, we haven't done a feast. Not recently. Let's do another feast in Krakow. Honorary guest. This guy, he has an alliance with us, so that's fine. Let's get King Petrus and try and befriend King Petrus as well. He's a strong vassal who doesn't have a job <laughs> in our council. 18 months? Okay, excuse me. I thought we had a little bit of a more... I thought there was some more time there. Another pilgrimage? I mean, maybe. Oh, we can't go to Vaticano again. We just went there. To Cologne. Oh, I like that. I like that you can't go twice to the same place. I used to do that all the time. Bring no one from our court, making travel dangerous. I mean, not really. We're still perfectly fine. Travel speed is reduced by 50%, but piety goes up. And our intent could be reflection. Altruism, definitely not. <laughs> Deletery. Uh, let's go with reflection. And we'll go for another pilgrimage. On to Cologne we go. We enjoyed the last pilgrimage so much. We're gonna go there. Should we pardon our brother-in-law? I don't think so. Your son is welcome in my army. Is he even good? Oh god, he isn't. Would he serve as a courtier? He is our spy master, so he's not gonna like that. Maybe he wants to come and just be a courtier. Nope. Why send him as a knight? You know he's no good at that. Let's see. Just beyond the small ridge, I can see a clearing off the side of the path. Okay. Perhaps I ought linger here for contemplation. Yeah, we'll do that. Just wait a little bit. 
Our friend, the king of Mordvinia, died. That's a shame. We have visited the capital of the Empire of Carpathia. I really haven't. This one is totally bugged. This fires at the odds, weirdest moments, honestly. Let's see. I should contemplate old empires. Imperial contemplation. Godly contemplation. Okay. I should contemplate ancient faiths. Let's do that. We make no progress. <laughs> well. Always a chance of these things going kind of wrong. The Kingdom of Wales. Okay. What is a little reign to a faithful Catholic? Indeed. Maybe we become ill. Eleven percent chance the Empress is killed right here and there. Uh, do we take that chance? Tours of a peasants and I am an Empress. We'll go with that. We might be wounded. We were not wounded. Oh, we don't need to sway this man anymore. Yes. It is my sacred duty, of course. What I truly want is to experience other cultures. I don't know. We're a dedicated pilgrim. This is our second pilgrimage, after all. How can we not be dedicated? Julian said, I thought I'm traveling alone here. Scholar Hugo, I will save him. I'll do it. Sarin is rescued. Oh boy, our oh brother. Oh. I've walked the holy path. We are now out in Cologne. Please make my magnificent spear more pious. Oh, durability increases by 10 and plus 2% monthly piety. Let everyone see the fame. Okay, no. Definitely make the spear even better. The spear is amazing already. Thanks for the improvement. This was an abuse of power and caused 15 to strive with his peer vassals. <laughs> Man, our son is really not making himself uh, all that appreciated out there. So we get scholar plus five learning. Hostile scheme success chance, plus 10. Personal, plus 10. Development growth, plus 15. This is crazy. This is crazy strong, and I'll tell you why. Slovian culture research. This, this is where it goes. This is where it goes really hard. Absolutely crazy speeds this stuff up. Uh, pilgrimage becomes more pious. This lady here becomes a monk. My lady! I have something to ask of you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought inconceivable. I don't care. I understand you have to do what you have to do. Stay. Become a monk. I, like, I don't know you. <laughs> no idea who you are. Look at this. 41 learning. Love it. Always fun when these go really, really high.
Here I am, a newborn woman. Okay, we lose our witch secret. But more pious. We'll do that. We're no longer a witch. Can't people just leave me alone for a while? Take that. That's unrelated to our pilgrimage. That's just hard to deal with stress, basically. Let's see, Cologne, it has been an honor. So we have achieved piousness two, almost level three. But that's okay. 709 piety. And we are now an experienced pilgrim. So that doesn't go any higher. Meaning we don't have to do another pilgrimage. This is the best we'll get out of this path. Next is hunting. And traveling, I suppose. But... I don't really see that happening. Well, it kind of happens on, on its own if you go, like, travel around for activities. Let's continue. Onward, ever steady forward. Refined poetry tradition. Nah, I would like to make an attempt and we get the poet trait. Diplomacy per level of fame plus one. Our level of fame is currently exalted among men. So that's not super high. But since our diplomacy is super low, that'll help us quite a bit. Didn't we have that omen that we would get lots of lots of children? Because we really, really, really haven't. Then again, we have been away a lot, so... What do you expect? What do I expect? What does anyone expect? Is there anything new? No, there isn't anything new. Just our spear is even cooler now. Monthly party dig. I don't think we're gonna get anything better than this anytime soon. Wait a moment. Where's my prowess? Did this not give me like 10 prowess? Was this replaced by piety? Ah. Maybe I'm thinking of a different spear. I have two. We'll check the other one in our... In our place here. Okay, lead the way, my lad. And... Um, don't fear, I shall fight it again. So this guy gets the healing water. Reduces the cost of establishing the martial admiration. I mean, this isn't bad, but... We'll get training hard for a year. I can be like that if I train. Sure I can be. Musical theorists. No, I like to learn to play. Prisoner. Prisoners like us less because that's who we are, who we are we are practicing on, I assume. That's interesting. I am feeling feisty today. Land language progress increases. And cultural acceptance between Poles and Slovians increases by 2.5%. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll do that. Prolific hunters. Huh? No. Perhaps they can train me. I feel accomplished. We learned the Lechtkrik language. Perhaps he sent a letter in his uh, in, in his language to him. 
Every zealot gains 10 opinion of us. We'll just go with that. I'm not going to send a letter to him. I'm not going to make a fool out of myself. Can the Byzantines please fall apart already? Ah, no. Our best friend died. That's that's never good. We must move forward with ongoing heartache. I will take this. There is a chance we become melancholic, but ongoing heartache for 30 years is incredibly bad. Uh, and here's at least a chance we only get some stress. A high chance, actually. So... Or even lose some stress, so that's nice. How is this war going? Okay, you're losing several wars. Which is kind of good for us, bad for you, but mostly good for us. Uh, Color me intrigued. Sure, I'm always going to go for a gardener, because worst, we get uh, some learning and a medium boost to health, so... How we, we even became a gardener. That's not all that common. Courtier and guest opinion plus 10. Stress gain minus 20%. Stewardship plus 2. All pretty darn good if you ask me. And it's good to be home. Are we a wanderer now? Where's the traveling thing? Nah, the god, we're so close to the first thing. <laughs> So close. Okay, betrothed can be married. Our son and the daughter of Westrankia. So we shall do because we definitely need this alliance. I really like the Bavaria has been a, a staunch ally of ours. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Lots of things happening. Our friend King Jakob died, meaning there's another lad down here in Valachia who will now need swaying we'll learn his language and we'll sway him and we're overwhelmed by stress again and we need a new steward and I would like to put in a strong vassal but they're all kind of horrible so we'll put in a decent vassal who is you know not the worst, not the best. So he can do this. Uh, let's go with increasing our development again. We can take the, le the, the little hit to our tax income because the development directly influences how much we get anyway. Levies increased by 21% and tax increased by 21%. So it's not bad uh, to have that. Our fascination has changed, or rather we have finished it. So let's see what's the next thing we're being influenced on, this urbanization, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. Counties now reach the maximum existing development penalty at 55 development. We are below that. So the penalty of the existing development for us will be less important. So now look, th look at this. 15 years just by being exposed to it. Seven years by focusing on it. We could, of course, go for parallel to something like banking, gills, windmills, advanced bow making. Uh, we might. We might. I think windmills is pretty good. Additional building slots is big. Additional building slots twice is big. Development growth. Um, so this in six years and this in 15 years. Six years. Six, I think we'll go with one of these. So we get uh, the building slots. Building slots are overall quite powerful. I don't want to found a holy order, but we'll definitely hold court. As our last little interaction for the day before we finish the stream. First person, please step forward. What do you want? Uh, County of Cave. I don't care about peasant superstitions. See, I don't know what the county is. Hold it. Duke, someone. It's not me, so I don't care. Let's go and change this. Let's make a new church. Cost us just some piety, which we collected a lot of. I can persuade the Malkadens to back down if you agree to redress our contractual burdens. Okay. I 
Are you tr are you still trying to install this dude who doesn't have? He doesn't even have a claim anymore. Faction to install this guy. You play a dangerous game, King. Or we go with, are you plotting against me? Come, Rhodes, love. Forget the others. No. You're playing a dangerous game. That's, that's what we're going to go with. We have avoided factions for so long. We're not going to be blackmailed now. Not in our own court. Uh, you don't say. Please go on. Let, let the guy talk. That's fine by me. Our business here is done. Let's check if I just started a new faction <laughs> before we finish. Uh, so it's this faction still of this guy who doesn't even have... A, like he has a claim on this duchy. I don't know how they're going to install him. On what throne? Might have to disinherit him. I just fully kick him out. It costs us a bunch. General opinion minus twenty. Ah, I'm not. I'm not willing to take that. This is a. This is a very delicate balance we have built here. We have to be careful with what we do and how we act. Can't just go willy nilly kicking people out of out of places. Uh, we could investigate if our boy has a lover, or we can just ask him. What are you, eccentric, arrogant, and brave? But he is rakish, so... Talk to us. Do you have another woman? I have little choice but to take him at his word. He says no. And why am I not pregnant? All right. We'll leave it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched over on YouTube, come check out Twitch. If you're watching over on Twitch, go check out YouTube. And I hope to see you around next time. Hope you learned something. If you ever have questions, come to the Twitch chat or connect over on Mastodon. Ask me questions anytime you want. I'll get around to you and tell you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. I really am glad you are. Bye-bye.